and new findings from a study that a fourth dose of COVID-19 vaccine could be beneficial. But is it enough to stop breakthrough infections? Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Nana St. Yobonsu with more on the study and what doctors are telling us tonight. Good evening. Right now, there's a push for people to get the booster shot or the third dose of the COVID-19 vaccine if you can. But what about a fourth dose? Well, there's a new study that shows that a fourth shot may not work against the Omicron variants. I think this data is too preliminary to uh, give us any direction on the fourth dose. Dr. Tina Chopra, professor of infectious diseases at Wayne State University, is referring to research released by an Israeli hospital about a fourth COVID-19 vaccine dose. What they found was that the antibody titers went up after the third shot, but uh, whether they were effective against the Omicron was really not seen. At the moment, a fourth shot is being administered in Israel, but not here in the United States, where health leaders are still urging people to get their third shot. Getting a booster shot protects us from getting severe disease and hospitalization. As hospitals in our state see record number of COVID-19 patients, there is a push for Michiganders to get their hands on an at-home COVID-19 test kit to help stop the spread of the virus. If you have it at your fingertips, it's a lot easier to do and a lot easier to stay quarantined and not infect other people than having to go to a site to get tested. Dr. Asha Shahjahan, the director of community health at Beaumont Gross Point says, getting an accurate result with the at-home test is all about timing. So the best thing to do is that if you were exposed to COVID or if you've had symptoms of COVID, to not test right away with the at-home test, but wait until day three to five and test during that time because you're more likely to have an accurate test. Testing and vaccines are tools both doctors say can help fight the virus. If there is more equitable distribution of the vaccine globally, we can see an end to this uh, virus. And when I say an end, we want the virus to become endemic. We don't want the virus to remain a pandemic. For more information on where to get the at-home kits or a vaccine, visit our website at WXYZ.com. I'm Nana Sancio Bonsu for 7 Action News.